crafting involves just sitting either on a competitor's swimmer's hips or sitting on their feet, maybe a foot behind. And doing this, you'll save 30% in energy and you're just in like their wake of a boat and it works exactly the same as like in a cycle race, how they're in a peloton. And if you work like this, you'll save energy, then you can take off at the end. I find that the greatest benefit for me personally in the open water is to actually stick on someone's feet. Um, provided you know they're swimming in the right direction and swimming straight. Pack swimming's all about swimming smart. And yeah, you don't want to be in the middle of the pack, getting hit from either side, taking in a bit of extra water, and um, encompassing, I guess, or, or hindering your breathing. Um, if you can swim smart in a pack, you will conserve energy though. So you might want to swim on someone's hip or on their feet um, and, and conserve energy, relax a little bit, enjoy the swim, save your petrol tickets for when you can sprint past them. Drafting, it's all about conserving energy and making someone else do the work for you. Um, so find a, if you know your competitors, find a competitor that you think you might just be able to keep up with him, keep up with him probably until about that last turning can, then see what you got left in the reserves and come home as hard as you can. So if you're drafting, you can keep up with someone who's maybe 30% quicker. So if you normally maybe three seconds behind them in 100 when you train with them, if you're drafting on their hip or feet, you'll keep up with them in an open water race. There's definitely energy saving to be gained from um, sitting on people's feet, but obviously if you can go faster and you know get, get in front, then I'm the sort of person that would have a crack and not just sit on someone's feet, just for the benefit of it. You just want to stay nice and close to them, but don't touch them. You might be in a pack of people that start really fast and then they slow down, they die essentially. So you've got to make sure that um, you can easily get around. Don't get stuck in the middle of a pack and then all of a sudden you're stuck in a slower moving pack than what you can swim with. But in general, packs do move faster than an individual swimmer that's kind of going on the outside. Yeah, so when you draft, you want to make sure you get it right. So you don't want to be hitting them because that's going to slow you both down. And I'd say maybe if there isn't that many people in a lane when you're training in the pool, maybe with your training partner, if you just rotate drafting each lap with them. So if you want to learn in flat water where there's not going to be chop going everywhere, maybe try in the pool with a training partner and maybe take it in turns on drafting. You could push off right on their feet or you could push off on their hip and just try a 50. And maybe like they can try going max of the 50 and you can try just going in their wash and trying to save as much energy as possible to keeping up with them.